what's up youtube welcome back to the channel if you're part of the supreme squad and if this is your first time we welcome you with warm arms right i'm sure you saw the 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 title of the video and you kind of felt provoked and before you bat my head off listen to me first right? give me your ears you know listen to what i gotta say about it first and then you can decide whether you wanna bite my head off or what right so like you saw the title says it won't happen overnight and we're talking about success that is right so obviously like i'm sure many of you have heard this before like nothing comes overnight and stuff like that but continuously i'm seeing people like fall into this trap of thinking they can get something out of nothing or being lazy will somehow reward them with the results that they want right so this is coming obviously from the previous from the previous video i made and this is gonna be basically an add-on to that one but instead of just like talking about instead of just like giving you negative criticism or whatever i'm just i'm also gonna give you tips on how to improve that so this is constructive criticism right so here's what's going on guys i'm gonna share with you something that's a bit scary to a lot of traders especially when you're starting to like learn how to trade forex and stuff like that so this is a statistic that it's out there and if you want to like look more into it you will see that it really is what they're saying it is so there's a there's a i don't want to say research but there's a statistic that 95 percent of traders of all traders lose money or quit like trading forex in the first year or so and stuff like that but overall they're saying there are more people losing money in this industry than there are people making money right so when you look at it when you look into it guys most people will automatically think that the game is rigged or like there's no way you can make money in this thing so like i, I should rather just quit or someone reading this who's like let's say a couple of months into forex trading will think that like bro like what's the point i mean people already are losing money and stuff like that so why should i continue i should just quit or find out that like someone who's like blown an account or something like that will just throw in the towel and like just give up on 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 their dream of becoming a successful forex trader or like earning enough to make a living off of their adult so i just give up and you know so guys i want to tell you something like all of us have gone through like blowing an account all of us have like made losses that we wasn't really expecting and stuff like that but learning from that is what makes you stand apart from the 95 percent of the people who are losing money right so instead of just like talking about general stuff here i'm gonna give you like a couple of tips on what to do and this will definitely be a sure way to ensure that eventually you join the five percent of the people who are making money off of this but as a disclaimer guys if you're not willing to work towards anything in this life especially in the markets then don't be so shocked when you keep making the same mistakes over and over again i see that a lot especially because i'm coaching also so i know what i'm talking about guys this 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 is gonna require hard work on your side you're gonna have to stay consistent and consistent is like one of the hardest things you can ever try to do or like just uh i can let me just put it like this consistency is the hardest thing to achieve but anything that's like easy to attain isn't really worth it that much so it should like show you like how the difficulty in this game should really show you like how much in store is there for you to like as a reward you know what i'm saying so without like going around into this whole topic i'm gonna tell you things that you can do if you're willing if you're willing to put in the work and stay consistent this this is definitely what you should focus on being consistent on so let's go at number one expectations 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 expect fucking patience so guys here's the thing i i spoke on this in our previous video i'm gonna put the link below but most of the people going into forex now going in in on it with the expectation that like they're about to make the first million in two months with just like an an account that's funded with like thirty dollars or something like that you know what i mean and that's like highly 
unlikely and that's the show way fastest way to 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 end up like giving up in the first six months because you won't you definitely won't last a year with that mentality at most you're gonna last up at about six months or so right so you need to have the right expectations guys if you know anyone who's like into forex trading or who just started forex trading i suggest you show them this video because they need to have the expectations at the right place you can't expect to make a million in two months with such a small account and at the same time you need to set realistic goals for yourself right you need to set realistic goals for yourself and have targets that you can attain with your type of account so obviously i can't tell you what like what should your exact goals be because i don't know what's what's in your thing i don't know what's in your account balance right and if you want to know more about that you can send me an email i'm gonna put the email in the in the description box below so the first thing is expectations you need to have realistic expectations as you start so you don't get easily discouraged and find yourself you know dropping out of the forex academy so let's go to the second thing mm, now let's see, see so guys the second thing that you need to look towards is analysis so your and your analysis is really like a, a cornerstone of your success in this game so with the right analysis comes the right strategy right so your strategy should be based around also how you analyze the market and how you look at the market right so you need to analyze and at the same time you need to execute the trades because it doesn't help to just analyze and be like oh yeah i was right about saying this is gonna go up and it did go up or i was right about saying this is gonna go down and it went down no it's not just about that it's about taking action you need to take action and you need to back test a strategy to ensure that like you're more confident when you want to play trades. but i'm going to make a whole video on that too but you need to like have a solid analysis and strategy which are interlinked together all right so the third reason why most people are these are kind of like tips and at the same time these are kind of like reasons why the 95 percent losers exist right so the third reason or the third tip is people are going into forex with the money they cannot afford and what i mean with the money they cannot afford they want they want to trade with the money they have to use to pay rent at the end of the month they want to trade with the money that they have to you know pay the car payments or whatever groceries and stuff like that so already when you're going into something with that kind of desperation and like psych psychology let me say you it's bound that you're gonna make emotional decisions right and that's the last thing you need to do when you're trading in this game you need to detach yourself from what happens in the game so you can actually learn what's what right so if you want to learn how to trade or if you want to start trading and you want the only way you can fund your account is with the uh, money that you got to pay your tuition fees or something like that then already you should know that this is not the right time for you to start trading S pay those bills and you know start saving or get a side job so you can eventually fund the account with as much money that you wanna that's what's up so let's go to the next tip your money management sucks all right so like most people's money management well the, for, from what i see with that that's instagram right so from what i'm seeing on instagram i'm seeing people with like about uh 150 dollars opening trades of like two lots or you know three lots and stuff like that and obviously just from that the risk management and the lot sizing goes hand in hand so if you're bad risk manager or if you're if you're very bad at lot sizing then that's one thing or there's two more things you need to work on consistently before you can really expect to see that much change or progress in your trading performance all right let's go to the next one so another reason why people are losing in this game is because they're chasing noise all right so let me explain what i mean by people are out here chasing noise right 
so you're in the wrong type of market and basically like you like you're not even aware of the market phases that we have right so sometimes the we have what we call um in terms of what we call like impulse and sometimes we have a correction right so with the impulse this is when the market is either like highly volatile is going up is trending or it's going down in a downtrend or whatever and in a correction now this is when we have a consolidation and stuff like that so you find someone going hard like going extra hard in the market that like when i look at it i'm seeing a consolidation maybe that person like lacks the the, the, the knowledge to look at a bigger picture but they just trading with like ignorance to just to just be blunt with y'all they trading with ignorance and what they're doing in that market they shouldn't even be there all right so that's the thing with like chasing noise you need to like be aware of the market the market phases that are there right the market doesn't always just like move in the impulse where like we're just making money 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 and then we cash out now the market moves in the impulse and then it does a bit of a correction impulse you know correction so you might find yourself stuck in a correction and then to you maybe using a five minute chart and you to you that five minute chart is showing you like something totally you know different and to expand on what i'm saying now chasing noise also has to do with the time frame that you use right with some time frames like let's say the lower time especially with the smaller time frames like you'll find there's a lot of noise that there's a lot of things going on so this can easily trigger your emotions if you are in the trade and you're looking at the five minute chart because obviously those kind of charts move like very quickly and stuff like that but when you go to the higher time frames you'll find that that market really isn't doing anything it's consolidating on the higher time frames and you're stuck inside right and one thing you should know it's easy to open a trade and it's even harder to close it all right so guys when you lack a understanding of the market phases that's that's to be expected so obviously with consistency you need to like find your balance of like the time frame the time frame that suits you best because i really can't tell you with that unless you're using my strategy and stuff like that all right so the next thing now which is also like um interlinked with what i just said now but the the the, the noise the market making noises you need to have a like a, a, a thing a trading plan all right so for most people they don't really have a trading plan all right or like they're still learning how to how to use the system and like adjust that system to themselves but they don't give they don't give themselves enough time to either practice so that that's like they can know the strategy because you can't like make changes to a strategy before you like understand how a system works so you need to give your, yourself time to practice a strategy either through like a demo account and stuff like that which surprisingly these days most people frown frown against like the the idea of using a demo account until you can understand or have a better understanding of the concepts in the in the forex market which i find to be crazy because like how can you not like want to practice before you like go all out into something but like clearly that's what we're doing this year so if you're doing that you know where it's gonna end you all right that's all i'm gonna say so all in all guys i can talk about um emotions also because with emotions now that's where you get to make decisions which don't really make sense all right it's just like a guy who's in love they say like he makes the, like they say a man who's in love is a stupid man basically or is a fool or i don't know what the saying goes but you know what i mean but for men and in this case because you're talking about like forex for everybody who's trading forex if you emotional then you're pretty much a fool just giving money to the market then we're gonna take your money you know what i'm saying that's just how it is so the only fix to this that i can tell you guys is you need to like use a lot size that keeps you detached from the market because the moment you start getting attached to what's going on there you already like lost the battle right so you need to stick to a lot size that keeps you 
detached from your trades. That way you're going to make rational and logical decisions based on your trading system. And even if you make a mistake, you can easily learn from it rather than making a mistake based on emotions where you can't even tell where you screwed up or anything like that. Because I've been there. I'm not just like saying these things out of my ass or whatever. I've actually put in the work that's required here. And all the things I'm telling you guys are the things I have experienced. And I've had to like ride it out and grind it out even when it wasn't making sense. But when you're just being consistent, eventually it will all make sense. Right? And I'm going to say my last thing. I know I said that was the last thing I'm saying, but no, this is the last thing that I'm saying is you need to be patient. The whole concept of this video is it doesn't happen overnight. So that just translates to being patient or having patience with whatever that it is you're doing and since we're talking about forex you need to have patience and you need to be patient on yourself to understand you need to have patience like on the results that you want to see you need to have patience on you you need to be patient on your trades like patience really is everything is really patience really is key not everything but patience really is the key that opens the door to everything that you desire in this market all right and i hope forex or being a successful forex trader is your dream because if it is your dream and you're willing to sacrifice and do anything to realize that dream then if you follow all these things there's no way that it's not gonna take you a step closer to what you're trying to achieve out here in the streets all right so that's all i got for you guys thanks for watching you know, subscribe, like, comment, share, or whatever. And I'm out, man.